One of the matches that people love to talk about with you, you, you know exactly where I'm going mm -hmm. with this. That match on Raw with you and Shawn Michaels, HBK himself has even said that's one of his favorite matches of all time. It is, uh, I'm flattered that HBK says that because he has such a long list of great matches. Like, I mean, it's really hard to compete with that. But uh, but if he's saying flattered. that. But, but yeah, if he's saying it. Um, yeah, there, not a day goes by since I had that match where I haven't heard or seen some sort of comment basically compliment me for that match or you know some some are more some of our more pessimistic fans you know saying yeah Sheldon got his head kicked off you know that type of stuff but <laughs> but yeah um I learned really early um it's all about creating memories for our fans so no matter what I was doing in what capacity I just wanted to do something memorable um from about 20 seconds into that match the chain wrestling that you guys are doing mm -hmm. you're so invested as the audience watching this, you're like, oh my gosh, we're in for something so special right. here. Yeah, it, it was, so uh, Sean came up with most of that. Like I, I, like I was following his lead and uh, he came up with, with most of that match. And, and I wanna say uh, Michael Hayes, you know, he had a lot of input. It was, the finish was Michael Hayes' idea. The and, springboard into right. the super kick? Yeah. Sorry, sweet chin music. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. not sweet the same Sweet chin music, move. yes, yes. <laughs> don't, don't, don't downgrade. It's not just a super kick. Yes, don't downgrade Sean's finish like so, that. So the springboard into the sweet chin music, that was Michael Hayes' that, idea? That, if, if I'm remembering correctly, that was Michael Hayes' idea because he came up to me and as we were, the first thing he said, because they've seen me springboard and do things all the time, and he's like, Sean, do you think you could – do you think you could springboard into the ring, into you know, into a super, into a uh, sweet chin music? And I said, yeah. Like it wasn't even. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's like, well, where does he need to be? I'm like, he can be wherever he wanted to be. I'm like, tell him, tell me where you need me to be, and I'll be there. I love it. And that was pretty much the end of that conversation. I, I think they just wanted to see me do it. Just springboard just to see how far I can get. I springboard and I jump almost to the other rope. And, you know, because no one's kicking. I, I, they just want to see how far I can get. Yeah. Which was, I kind of, when I, when I actually did it, like, I didn't jump as hard as I did when I practiced because, you know, obviously Sean's there and I'm adjusting for where he's going to be. And, uh, yeah, for me it was like, hmm. I, I, I did, <laughs> yeah, no big deal. No. <laughs> So I, I, a lot of things I did, and, and I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything. A lot of things I did, I didn't realize how special they were until other people pointed it out. But that's because you're so athletically gifted. Right. Like so <laughs> gifted in that Like I, went, I wanted to call and say, hey, hey Ma, you remember all those beatings you gave me for climbing trees and jumping off buildings and swinging off? <laughs> it's, not, it's paying off right now. <laughs> What's so impressive about that spot with the springboard and the sweet chin music is the change of direction, mm. right? You're going one way and then the sweet chin music hits you and then immediately you, you laid out. Yeah, perfect timing. Yeah, perfect it's all timing. about timing. Did you see the kind of tribute that they paid with that uh, between Logan Paul and Seth Rollins? So Logan Paul jumps off the top rope right into a super kick. Oh, yes, yes, Seth yes. I, 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 I've seen it. Yeah, I've, I've seen... I've seen quite a few uh, uh, remakes. <laughs> um, what was the reaction when you went to the back after that match? Because I would imagine that's a match that everybody is glued to the monitors watching. Um, so, standing ovation. Like I went through the, I went when I went back to the curtain. Like events and everyone's like clapping and like even Mike Hayes like you you did something special tonight and I was like really like. Again, I didn't. I didn't realize how special it was. And then I then I you know I watched it back. And I was like, this match is great. And I'm like, it's really good. And but again, like I'm I'm so like, is it really that good? Like, I didn't I didn't think of it until it, it I kept getting it. Then the very next week, you know, the kick is is in the the opening promo. So I'm like, okay, now now I, I think I'm I'm starting to get it now. I'm starting to really get it. Um, is that your favorite WWE match of all time? Uh, no, my favorite match I probably won at the end, but <laughs> 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 no, that that from a from a technical storyline standpoint, that that's one of my top matches without a, without a doubt. 